Hi, everybody. Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun birthday project to share with you for Emma using some of the new July release goodies, starting with these awesome Impact Alphabet Dynamics. I love a good alpha die set. These ones here will never go out of style. I'm sure of it. They got a great classic bold font. One of my number one things to do with alpha dies is customize a name on a project. So I'm spelling out Emma and you know, I'm going to need two M's, which I don't have. So I can calculate the spacing. I see that the M needs two squares on the grid mat. And that is my professional technique for spacing. So I'm lining these up, taping it down with that purple thermal web tape. And I'm going to die cut this repeatedly on this white panel. It's like Emma, Emma, Emma. It's the Emma show. In a couple of days, my youngest daughter, Emma, is turning nine. And when you have five kids and your youngest turns nine, you're like, you look, you're like, what? Like yesterday she was born and now she's nine. Where did the time go? And so you want to excite a kid with a birthday card, put their name on it. That's what I say. So I do this uh, multiple times, a little bit tedious, but I got nothing but time for Emma. And she is jacked about her birthday. You know what she wants to do? Her number one thing is get her ears pierced. That's what she wants. She also wants a lot of things. Every day she adds something to her list. It's getting a little bit annoying, but she wants Barbies. And I got to say, I have a weakness for Barbies because right now they've got this new line. It's called You Can Be Anything. So they got Barbie outfits and I might have gone a little bit overboard, but I can't help it. They've got Barbie outfits. Like I bought a referee outfit, a chef outfit. Uh, what was the one? Oh, I think it was a nurse or a doctor or maybe like, a, oh, she got one that was a flight attendant. I'm just all about you can be anything Barbie. I love it. So maybe went a little overboard. No one needs to know. They were only like $4 an outfit. I mean, who's counting? But so we got M. I'm going in now with the M, the second M. I keep going off camera to run that through my die cutting machine, hoping this makes it a little bit quicker. But you get the idea of what I'm doing here. Probably would have been a lot easier if I chose a word that didn't have two of the same letters, you know, like the double M. But every time I do something like this, I tell you, I use a word that has two letters, like happy. It's got two P's. Hooray, two O's. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? What are you going to do? Now, here's another new die that I'm in love with. I mean, I'm in love. It's called Magical Rainbow. And it's got six little arches in the rainbow. So I chose six colors of solid color cardstock and I'm running it through and this is making my heart go pitter patter. Now, technically, and then there's one that's like an outline or a backer. And I did that one with white cardstock. And what I'm going to do is take tape runner and cover that entire piece and then pop on the solid colored arches. Now, you could make six rainbows with all these arches or bows. I don't know the rainbow technical terms. I'm sure somebody will correct me, but you get the idea, right? So I chose the number one order, you know, starting with the pink, orange, light orange, yellow, green, and then aqua. So, but I wanted to do about 5,000 rainbows on this card. That's how much I love this die, but you got to rein it in. You know what I mean? Even though you love rainbows, you got to calm it down. So I chose one to be the, just the focal of the whole thing. I had a little extra there. I don't know what I did wrong, but I trim it off. And then now for the background, I'm going to do a little ink blending. I've got my distress oxides here. I'm starting with blueprint sketch, and then I've got mermaid lagoon and twisted citron. And I'm going what I like to call full throttle with the oxides, meaning I'm going heavy handed. I'm going as dark as I can. I'm not trying to do light or you know, gradient, but I am fading the colors one to another. So I'm trying to get a seamless blend between the colors, but the opacity, is that a word? I think it is. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. The vibrancy is as full as it can go. I'm using Nina Solarite cardstock and I'm working this puppy. I'm using my Ranger ink blenders, which I still go for. I still go for them. I'm just used to it. Now, if I'm going to do something really subtle and light, I like the brushes, but when something like this, I pull for the ink blenders. Now, if you have any imperfections, flick on some flicks of water. It covers it up. Little trick of the trade. So now I'm going to take this ink blended panel and adhere it to a white card base. Popping that on like that. 
And then now this Emma panel, which normally I would choose to pop it up because I love dimension, I love the shadows, but this was so intricate and the thought of cutting slivers of foam tape behind all those letters made me want to just cry. So I decided to use spray adhesive. And then last minute decision change, I decided to put in that little triangle in the A. I'm not sure if there's a word for that little triangle in the A, but I don't, you know, normally I would leave it out, but it was starting to bug me and I couldn't stop thinking about, does it need it? And so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to put it in. That way there's no confusion that that is an A, even though I don't think there would be. But you know, when you can't stop looking at it, just fix it. That's what I say. So now for a coordinating birthday sentiment, I'm using another new stamp set. This is called Biddy Birthday Wishes, and it's got every birthday sentiment that you could ever want and more. And what I did was pick out my favorite one and one that would fill the entire length of that little rainbow die cut. So it was like going to be on the bottom of this rainbow. I'm popping this up. And then I got my embossed sentiment there. See how it fits the rainbow perfectly. And then to finish it off, a few little sequins. These are Studio Katia uh, Crystal Fusion sequins. And this card is finished. Do you think this is going to make a nine-year-old squeal? Or maybe the Barbie outfit might do it. Or the ear piercing. We shall see. I will let you know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time.